Good morning. Love starting that way. Um, I was asked um, yesterday if I could take the eclipse and, you know, the, the that everybody was talking about. And can you turn that into like an allegory for self-improvement? I'm like, yeah, that one. That one's easy. Um, and uh, so I also decided to do use my new favorite tool, the Suno.ai, to create a uh an intro song for the live stream so that's what that was that was just um a little bit of ai music magic there um and so wanted to talk and so two different ways hit me about you know how do you take the 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 eclipse and turn that into like a a self-improvement message um my kids will tell you that I'm very good at taking random things and turning it into some type of a <laughs> some type of a, a parental lesson. Uh, so this is the same kind of thing. But the whole idea of, of the eclipse is that you know the moon covers the sun; it gets really, really dark for a short time, and then the sun comes back out, right? But it's not like the normal nighttime cycle. It's it's this different thing. And I find that that happens a lot of times in our journey towards goals, right? So the, the first kind of thought that I had about how to, to connect the eclipse to our lives is through kind of the negative side, right? Where we're working on a project. It's like, you know, right now I'm working on the roundtable program and, and enhancing things and, you know, all of that. And there are times when it gets hard, you know, resistance take, comes in and it feels like the light goes dim, right? <laughs> and so you've got these obstacles that get in your way and it feels like it's blocking out the sun, right? And it can feel daunting and it can feel like this isn't supposed to happen, you know, what's going on, right? Um, just like if you didn't know the eclipse was coming, it would it would be kind of freaky that suddenly it's in the middle of the day and it got dark. Well, the same thing happens where these challenges come up for us that that block the light for a minute, and it's it's a little bit daunting. It's a little bit challenging. Um, but what I will tell you is that the eclipse fades rapidly, right? The you know I was fortunate enough to be called by my daughter during the eclipse. Um, she lives in like Arkansas, where it was the path of totality here in Florida. Yeah, we got about 60%, got some cool pictures, but it, it didn't like get dark. It just kind of like evening light. Um, and so, you know, so she, we went on, on video and she was showing me how it was dark and, you know, showing me the, the eclipse, a little ring of light. And again, it's on cell phone camera so it wasn't like amazing uh but it was really really cool but what i found interesting was that like 30 seconds 45 seconds into the call that it was now moving out of the totality and it it literally took 15 to 20 seconds for it to go like nighttime dark to light <laughs> like you know morning light right um it was that fast. And that's the way that the obstacles that we face can be the same, right? It can seem this huge daunting thing and it's like, it's blocking out the light. I can't see anything. And yet at the same time, it can fade very, very fast, right? You know, we, we get help, we ask for help. We find who can help us with an issue. Um, we work a little harder, we, you know, or we sit back and rest and enjoy the darkness for a minute, right? Um, but know that like an eclipse, most of the challenges that we face on our 
journey of success are temporary, right? They, they're fleeting. It may seem huge, but they're fleeting, right? And that we just need to hold on and keep going and don't stop, right? That's the, that's the real challenge is just don't stop and the eclipse will, will pass. Right. Um, so the challenges will pass if we continue to to work through it and, and not let the, the resistance get us and keep us back. Okay. So that's kind of the, the, the negative side. Right. Um, but what about the positive side? Right. There are <laughs> there are times when. We get big wins. Right. And one of the the things that i love watching the videos of the eclipse was you know you'd have these areas where a whole bunch of people had gathered and you know it starts getting close and then it goes to totality and everybody's like whoa that's amazing right there everybody's cheering and people are emotional that happens in our lives too where we get to be the moon right our achievements are so awesome and so incredible that it's this awe-inspiring moment and sometimes it's just for us right it, sometimes it's not you know for display for everyone to see and applaud us sometimes it's just we did something we didn't think we could do and it feels amazing right and so we have our own moment of totality where I have blocked out the sun, right? And it's just, you feel really good. And here's the, here's the kind of downside of that. It, that feeling is also fleeting, right? It's one of the things, one of the reasons why I like stoicism so much. It's like, you know, don't, don't be too upset when things go really bad and don't be too happy when things go really good. Um, because, you know, I've had a lot of successes in my life, you know, both personal and, you know, out there. And, and it feels good. It's nice, but it's also fleeting. Um, that, you know, got a brand new car. You feel amazing for a couple of days and then it's a car, right? You, you get up on, on a TEDx stage and do a presentation and it's amazing. And then like that high is that's for a, a week or two. And then it's okay, well, what do I need to do now, right? So just like the, the eclipse, our personal successes, we can be and bask in it, enjoy it, love it, right? The, the, the eclipse, I'm, I'm, I'm here in totality, but understand that that's, that's fleeting and that we now need to be looking at what do we need to do next, right? And whether it's rest, whether it's, you know, go for the next bigger thing, whatever it's, but we need to enjoy the journey along the way. So those are my two kind of aspects of how do you equate an eclipse with self-improvement? One is understand that problems are fleeting, that obstacles are fleeting. They're only going to block out the sun for a short period of time. And on the other side, that Enjoy the process because the big wins that where we're in our awe moment are fleeting as well. So we need to enjoy the process and we need to enjoy, you know, what and need to know what to do next. Okay. So that's my that's my eclipse thoughts. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna play some music again. Yeah. Have a great day. Don't let anything eclipse your happiness. Eclipse shadows, cool and deep. Whispers of dreams, don't let them sleep. It's darkness just to leap towards the light. I promise we'll keep light.
Eclipse moments, brief and flee. Challenges faced, we won't retreat. From shadow to sunrise, we in our victory. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Live your life to the third hour, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you for listening to the Third Power Life podcast. Before you go, one quick question for you Where are you on the path of life? Are you just drifting through your life? Are you fully in command somewhere in between? Well, you can find out where you are now by taking my new commander survey. It will tell you where you are on your growth journey and how to move yourself to the next level. You can find the link on the screen or in the show notes. Now all I want to know now is, where do you stand?